Hello, Exchange Beauty Tribe, and welcome to another incredible, fabulous Beauty Live. I am your host, Emily, and just like every Beauty Live, I'm very excited for this one. We're talking about a category that is one of my favorites, which is fragrance. And we're going to be talking um, to a brand that we have not had on the show before. So that makes it even more of a delicious beauty live show. And we're also in the middle of our beauty bar book. So there's a lot of things to be excited about today. Um, so today we are going to be talking about Carolina Herrera fragrances. And with us today, we have um, Hannah from Carolina Herrera. Hannah, how's it going? Hi, it's going great. Thank you so much, Hillary, for that fabulous introduction. I'm so excited that you're excited. I'm excited. There's a lot of energy, even with just the two of us. I wish I could see our audience, right? That would make it even more exciting. Um, but yeah, I mean, you said it. We're going to be talking all things Good Girl today, which is, again, as you said, such an iconic collection from Carolina Herrera. Um, and for those of you who aren't really familiar with Miss Herrera, she's she's quite a force to be reckoned with, right? Not only in fragrance, but fashion, which is where she really kind of got her start, what really put her on the map back in the early 80s. Um, so I wanted to give just like a little whisper of a background uh, for Carolina. So she was born in 1939 in Caracas, Venezuela. Um, and she was born into a very fabulous, affluent life. Her father was a dignitary, her mother was a socialite. Uh, and she right away started to show her natural passion and fashion and really like ability early on. Uh, she was really inspired by the runway shows that her grandmother would take her to at the young age of 13. You know, standard things, right, right. Hillary? That's, I mean, you would, that's right. My you would childhood too. Yeah. <laughs> Same, right. <laughs> so she really took to it and she actually designed her first piece ever around like 14 or 15. And it was this little black dress that was inspired by like the movies of the 30s and the 40s. But anyway, so let's go ahead and fast forward. It's like the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and it was actually her friend, Diana Vreeland, who's that famous Vogue editor, who really encouraged Carolina to design an entire collection of dresses because Carolina was kind of toying with this idea of uh, launching or creating like textiles with patterns. And Diana in Diana fashion was like, that's boring. Don't do that. You should do an entire collection of dresses. And Carolina was a bit hesitant because she really didn't have like any experience aside from, I think she was employed by uh, Emilio Pucci for just a short amount of time in the sixties. But she, uh, aside from that had no experience, but what she did have was just this incredible knack, this incredible eye for style. And, and of course her, her useful connections also helped a little bit, but long story short, she ended up developing this fabulous collection and she had her first fashion show at the New York Metropolitan Club. And it quickly just gained so much notoriety within that fashion scape and just that client list exploded. I mean, Jackie Onassis was on there and actually really she's, Carolina is really known to be the stylist or, or the one to dress many first ladies. So as you look through the years, you'll notice all of them are wearing at least one moment in time a classic Carolina Herrera gown or outfit. So, but now Carolina Herrera, what brings us here today is the fragrance talk, right? So Herrera's first perfume arrived in 1988. So a few years after she got going in fashion, she launched Carolina Herrera Eau de Toilette, which was her perfume that she, it was her namesake, right? So naturally this fragrance is going to embody who she was, um, you know, it really represented her elegance. It represented her style. I love that it has notes that really reference her earliest memories back in Venezuela. You have really classic white florals like jasmine and tuberose. You also have one of my favorites, which is sandalwood. So it was an absolute incredible hit. And that just kind of spiraled. And here we are, uh, here we are today. And she's launched incredible collections fragrances worldwide. And that's why we're all gathered here today. And today we're specifically talking about one of those, which is the Good Girl Collection, which is unmistakable, right? If not for the amazing fragrances themselves, then for the packaging. We were talking about this earlier, Hillary. Oh my gosh, like, yes. <laughs> like the packaging is just, I don't know how to describe it other than it's like candy. It's fun. You can't describe why you're drawn to it, but you just have to beeline it across the room and grab it and hold it and see what it's all about. And so this package actually was really kind of inspired by that simplicity of just 
uber femininity, right? Like just no bones about it. You know, Carolina loved the fact that women can do anything that they put their mind to, you know, she can take over the world if she wants, and she just can do it in a killer pair of stilettos if she wants as well. So I love this kind of dynamic account of women and who we are, the fact that we can do anything we put our minds to, but that doesn't mean that we can't be fabulous and fashionable and wear these killer heels, right? So, all right, so actually that reminds me, did you go ahead and do that quiz? Did you try the quiz? I did, I did do the quiz. Do you want okay. me to reveal? I want you so to I reveal took... who you are. Okay, I will oh, reveal. Yeah. So I took the Carolina Herrera good girl quiz. Okay. I am proud to say, I hope my mom is watching this. <laughs> I am proud to say I am a very good girl. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, fabulous. Yeah, so <laughs> what I love about this quiz, I'll do it, I've done it so many times and I'm typically, I'll be consistent with who I am, but it always kind of mixes up just depending on my mood, what occasion is coming up. So that's what's also fun about this. So whoever's tuning in, I hope you guys have a moment to take that really quick quiz. It's, I think there's a link on the post on Facebook. So it's super quick. It's super fun. Like it just is a bunch of leading questions that lead to announcing which good girl you are. So that's what we're talking about. So for me, I'm always the original, like the good original. So more than not, this is my go-to girl right here. But again, it fluctuates. But um, speaking depending of- Depending on so the day, like, depending how you feel. <laughs> on the day and the occasion. But yeah. let's go ahead and let's dive into the collection itself. We'll talk about the juices as well as who she is. And that means like what archetype, what energy she's exuding, which is kind of what we're already talking about, right? So let's start from the beginning with our original good girl, this beautiful- I hope you guys can see that's it's like a super deep midnight blue. It's absolutely stunning. So when it comes to my good girls, my team and I, we always like to think of or reference like pop culture or characters and movies or TV shows. So for this one, we say that this is like your Carrie Bradshaw, right? So if we have any Sex in the City fans out there or just like that fans, this is going to make sense. So this is like your Carrie Bradshaw because she's strong, she's seductive, she's stylish, um, she's bold, but she's bold in like a classy way. And I feel like those classic florals of the jasmine, the tuberose kind of support that classic bold energy. But you also have this really fantastic sweet element of almond right at the top. And then at the base, you have tonka bean, you also have cacao. Um, so very intriguing fragrance, very classic, but has like a couple moments of intrigue and things that are unexpected. But again, this is like my go-to more than not until every once in a while, I'm feeling like it's a good girl supreme moment. And that is this unmistakable black lacquer glitter heel. She's definitely not subtle. So when you're grabbing, you're a good girl supreme. Like, you know what moment is about to go down. Like, you know where you're about to go. You know what you want to exude. This one here for me, sticking with like the sex in the city theme is... And it might be shocking. I think of this as like our Miranda. That's how I feel. Like she's down for a good time. She's strong-willed. She's provocative. And what I love about the fragrance is that you have these juicy berries right at the top that makes this fragrance so mouth-watering. It's technically like an ambery gourmand. So it definitely has this warmth that kind of envelops you. But at the center, you have those classic white florals. Again, you have jasmine, you have orange blossom. Again, very classic. But then at the base, you have tonka bean and vetiver. So you have like this sweet yet down to earth kind of way about it. And you might know, I don't know if if anyone's picked up on this, some fans out there who might have more than one fragrance like I do, but the kind of through line throughout the collection is we either have vanilla or tonka bean at the base. So vanilla is kind of like a creamy, sweet, and uh, just like your classic gourmand scent, while the tonka bean is gonna be more of like, a bit more neutral, sweet tone. It's gonna have a bit more nuance with cinnamon spice, notes of almond and cherry. And even sometimes kind of a, a natural earthy, like, like sweet hay. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but it's a bit more subdued and a bit more nuanced. So there's always going to be one of those in one of the good girl fragrances, vanilla, bourbon vanilla, or tonka bean. So I thought I'd illuminate a bit of the difference between those two. So that brings me to very good girl, which is Hillary. 
<laughs> yes, Which this is definitely all good. Yes. <laughs> so this, we actually launched in 2021. And I think that this one is obvious as far as like our sex in the city character. I think this is definitely a Samantha. What do you think? This is oh, a Samantha for heel. Sure. Yes. She's super uh, sexy. Yeah. She's fearless. She's fabulous. Uh, and again, you have this dynamic an ingredient story to really support that. So at the top, you have red currant, you have lychee, which I adore lychee in my fragrances. Um, it's not super common, but I like that it gives you like this juicy, sweet, citrusy moment. So it gives a fragrance some, some levity without being over the top in its sweetness, right? Um, so I really, really enjoy that. And then at the center, you have classic rose, you have lily. And then again, at the base, you have vanilla bourbon and vetiver. So again, something that's really gourmand and sweet, but again, it kind of gets rounded out with the vetiver, kind of making a little bit more down to earth. And then last but not least, da -da -da -da, blush. She is so gorgeous. This pale pink packaging right here, this pastel pink. Blush is our newest girl to the game. So she launched at the beginning of this year and she's been unstoppable. Like every time I turn around, I'm seeing some sort of campaign or an Instagram post or TikTok or some sort of social media moment. And where I was with my coworker, we were at, we were at a convention sometime around launch. And I, we, I could not go out in public with this woman because everyone would stop her. We were late for everything because men, women, everyone, what are you wearing? Oh my God, it smells so, so good. And it was blush and it really hasn't slowed down. Like the, the insanity of the fandom of Good Girl Blush is still kicking pretty strong. So I'm not, I'm not sad about it, but everyone's going crazy for Good Girl Blush, which is really like a blooming powdery fragrance. And, and blooming, I mean like really intense floral, powdery, which again, it's, it's as the word suggests, it's kind of light, it's fluffy, it's very unique, but it's kind of classic in its approach. Like it's just very feminine, beautiful, it's feminine. And so if we were gonna say this is, this is anybody as far as characters, this is gonna be your Charlotte, right? Mm -hmm. This is an Amber. That's what I was <laughs> gonna say, 100% it's a Charlotte, yeah. yes. Well, look, this is a Charlotte heel, like she would wear this flat out. So this is an Amber floral. You have, at the top, you have Vibrant Bergamot, which again, is gonna give you like a nice pop citrusy right at the top. You have it partnered with Bitter Almond, uh, at the center, you have exotic ylang ylang, which I really enjoy. It's kind of a departure from the classic florals that we see a lot in Good Girl Collection. It's unexpected and it's beautiful. And we partner that with peony, um, which I adore because it's going to give you this really intense pastel petal. Like it gives you that intense uh, floral that you, that you get for this fragrance, for this fragrance. And what intensifies it even more is that we use upcycled rose water to really drive that flowery moment of the peony home. And not only that, but I like that it's sustainable in that way, right? Like we don't discard rose water. We're going to use it in the formulation as well. Um, and then of course you have vanilla and tonka bean at the base of this one. It's not one, but two. So you have that really sweet gourmand, but then you also have a lot of the nuances of the vanilla. Um, so what makes this fragrance, in my opinion, special and, and kind of a little something extra is the different extractions of the vanilla and the tonka bean. So again, you typically have that sweet gourmand nature of the vanilla bean, but what the perfumers did with Good Girl Blush is they explored a new way of like bio extraction to recreate the villain, uh, the vanillin from rice powder. So that's what's gonna give you that like blushy powdery kind of facet to it, which I thought was so intriguing and so unique. And it really is just like a symphony dedicated to vanilla, which is again, that through line of all the good girls. So I think it's just like this fabulous, unique way that the perfumers looked at such an iconic uh, uh, raw material, right? Mm -hmm. And that is it. That is our fourth and our last good girl that I have to share with you all today. But that's only until next year, wink, wink. So I want you all to stay tuned. Um, and clearly I can talk forever about these products, but I wanted to see what Hillary, I, or I wanna see what you think, Emily. I wanna see what uh, our people who are tuning in think. Like, tell me, tell me, any questions? Yeah, so we have a lot of love. So there's a lot of good <laughs> girls out there. So we have so much love. 
Um, I first want to say I'm going to admit something um, to all our viewers. I am a new, um, I am a newbie when it comes to Carolina Herrera perfumes. So for years, I have seen this gorgeous bottle um, in stores. Um, but I've never walked over over and expanded my fragrance horizons and tried this out. So I had the opportunity to try these all out yesterday. There is not a thing. I don't have a favorite. Like if someone handed me any bottle, I'd be like, this is great. Right. This smells perfect. <laughs> and I think that's pretty incredible that every single fragrance is awesome. Every time I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. Oh no, this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. So exactly. you really can't go wrong with the good girls. <laughs> no, and no. And it's all about, like we were saying earlier, it's all about kind of just what you're feeling in the moment. And I think that also takes that scary factor out of fragrance as well. Like, I feel like if you're newer to fragrance or if you don't know exactly what you like, there's you sometimes feel like overwhelmed with the ingredient talk or the this or the that. At the end of the day, if you love the bottle and you think it smells great, wear it every day until you stumble into another one that really kind of gets you excited or makes you feel a certain way. It's all about emotion. Fragrance is like the final accessory that you wear of the day. So whatever you're feeling, whether you're feeling like sophisticated and fearless or sexy and seductive, wear it, right? So that's why I personally, I like to own all of them. Like it's not, here's a collection, you pick and choose which one is your favorite. I have them all, just depending on my mood. And I definitely like to wardrobe as well. Like, what do I like to wardrobe? I like to wardrobe, well, I like to wardrobe the original Good Girl with Good Girl Supreme. I also know a lot of people, now we're not talking about bad boys today, we're talking about good girls only, but you can't have a good girl without having a bad boy in the mix, right? So <laughs> a lot of people actually like to mix their good girl with maybe even one of the bad boys, which I know it sounds crazy, but it really makes for an incredible explosion of, you know, kind of musky scents and tones with all the vanilla that we have going on in the good girl. So it really is exciting and a lot of fun. So I want people to have fun, like just wardrobe, don't overthink it. It's all about expressing yourself, right? Exactly. And what I've um, learned the more I've um, been a part of this show is there really is no boundaries when it comes to beauty. It's, you know, what's amazing. We're all unique individuals. And this is just another way to be creative. And, you yeah. know, for me, a fragrance is a fragrance. So even if it's meant for a man, if you like it, wear it. If it's meant for a woman and you like it, wear it. So it's amazing. And I did want to pop into the chat. So we do have a lot of good girls in the chat. <laughs> um, and we have um, just incredible um, people watching from stores. So we have Fort Cavazos is here. Hello, um, oh. Talia, for, we love all the good girls. Um, and then we also, the chats are going so fast. I'm glad you guys are all here. So much love. Um, I know Wendy said that uh, Carolina Herrera uh, design, she, I got so excited just now. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's sister had uh, her wedding dress was designed by Carolina Herrera. So I know I oh want my to God. Wendy. Like, let's look at this dress. I thought it was beautiful. Oh um, my gosh. Christina loves the blush. Um, yep. Good girl. And um, we did share the good girl quiz in the chat. I took the quiz. Please take the quiz and let us know, like, what did what does the quiz say? What kind of good girl are you? I was the very good girl. And this is an awesome scent. Um, and I was so the original. So like yes, classic white florals. <laughs> exactly. And the original, you can't go wrong. Um, no. Catherine said she is living for the Sex and the City references. <laughs> um, <laughs> which I, I, I was going out on a limb because I was like, I don't, this may not be my crowd, but it also helps me to like, when I'm going for what I want to wear in the morning, if I'm stumbling, I'm like, oh, if I'm kind of feeling in a rut, I'm like, I don't even know. Maybe it's like gloomy outside. I don't know. I need to pull myself up. I'm like, what, who do I want to be today? Do I need to be like a Samantha? Get it together, Hannah. Let's be in charge. Let's be bold. Right. Let's tackle this day. So I kind of like to use those references because it helps me identify how I feel and, or how I want to feel for the day. So I'm glad that that resonated because I yes. was like, maybe it's just me who likes that, but <laughs> no, exactly. And there's moments too. I have to say, Emily, it's time to be a Charlotte, relax yeah. and be a Charlotte, be a Charlotte. No. So I think that's um, incredible. And I did want to 
share I you and I talked about this before the the show but something that I think is really exciting is um once you have used all this amazing beautiful scent inside the bottle this bottle is awesome to be displayed uh, anywhere I think it's just beautiful to keep and my favorite thing is um your phone or <laughs> your iPad it holds it up and so you've got a stylish iPad or phone holder and I Hello. just I mean I just love that and I think it's incredible and I love um you know once you have the bottle you don't dispose of it there's other uses for it even if it's just yeah. to be a piece of art you know um on a shelf it, they're gorgeous bottles and you can still get use out of them once the fragrance is gone so yeah, I, love I love I love that you said that I totally forgot about that but that was a huge moment when we discovered that it holds phones and tablets because <laughs> let's say that we all live our lives on these devices but like whether you're like I'll have mine in the kitchen sometimes with a recipe on it. And my husband's like, what is this heel <laughs> on the counter? I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. It holds my phone. I'm cooking dinner, relax, but I'll do it for that. It's great. Even for like in store, if you have a bottle and you don't want to toss it or like a tester and you have a fabulous good girl video that you want to show a client or even a tutorial, whatever the case is, it just kind of drives home that fun, but almost utilitarian aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And so, you're yeah. giving the bottle a second life, which I yeah. think is just absolutely incredible. And um, speaking of these amazing good girls, mm -hmm. um, I did mention at the beginning of the show, we are in our beauty bar um, book right now. So if you need a sign to get one, two, the whole Good Girls collection. Here it is because now until the seventh, um, if you're a Military Star card holder, 15% off of beauty and fragrance products. So this is the time to, to stock up. And I know we're in August. And if you're anywhere, if you're in Dallas or anywhere near Dallas or Texas, it's 110 degrees and it's hard to think about anything else, but the holidays are coming. And these would just make incredible gifts for friends, family, yourself, um, <laughs> everyone. And at such a phenomenal everyday low price, of course. But on top of that everyday low price, um, until now until the 7th, 15% off. So you can't beat it. You don't have a military star card. That's okay. Go to your local store. Ask an associate how you can sign up or you can um, apply at shopmyexchange.com and we can get you rolling on these incredible discounts. Um, so I'm just really excited about that. I wanted everyone to be able to enjoy that discount and also load up on the beautiful Carolina Herrera, Herrera fragrances. <laughs> I love that. That's a really excellent discount. Um, and yes, it's Emily. I, I have <laughs> Herrera. I'm so I, I have a hard time doing her name justice. I have a coworker who has the most beautiful Spanish accent, and he just Carolina Herrera, and I'm like, oh, I wish gorgeous. I, I, I know. Try, and but we're yeah. over here just like hurry, but <laughs> nonetheless, it's still beautiful. You can still wear it, and make it your own. Um, and Hannah, thank you so much for yes. being with us today. It means the absolute world. Um, and to all the viewers at home, um you know, it's 12 o'clock on a Wednesday and you guys could be doing probably a, just a lot of things right now and you've chose to spend time with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and like I said, follow that link, take the good girl quiz, see which good girl you are and also head to your local exchange store or shopmyexchange.com and load up with that 15% off with your Millstar. Um, but Hannah, it's never yes. goodbye on Beauty Live. <laughs> <laughs> always see you later so we Amazing. can't wait to have you back to see what good girl is coming out next oh yes she's yeah. coming your way in the new year so stay tuned everybody thank you so much emily thank you everyone for tuning in and if i miss any questions emily just send them my way i'm more than happy to answer any lingering questions but until next time right yes until next time um <laughs> in beauty tribe we will see you on friday for another amazing beauty live Thank you all and see you soon. Bye. Bye everyone.